Hi everyone, Blaine here, and uh, I'm going to show you just a very quick basic tutorial on the Cessna 172 Autopilot. I'm not going to show you any of the advanced features, I'm just going to show you what to do once you've taken off and uh, you are wanting to hold the plane level and uh, head in a different direction. So with that, uh, what we'll do is we'll get in the air and then I'll show you that. Now, one thing before we start, I don't have my rudder, pedal, my rudder pedals turned on right now, so the, the plane may veer kind of left and right on the runway. Uh, normally, if you have rudder pedals, it makes that really easy. Um, if you're new to uh, X-Plane uh, or Flight Simulation and you're flying a Cessna and it keeps turning left and you think, is there something wrong with my game? Uh, no. That's uh, a force in physics uh, related to torque. And because the power of the propeller turning in one direction, it causes the plane to want to veer that way. So um, you basically want to adjust your yaw. Uh, so that you can uh, you can kind of control it. I have found with rudder, ped rudder pedals it is the easiest to do that because you can hold them, uh, but you can certainly get by uh, with just a regular uh, flight stick. So with that in mind, let's get in the wind. I'm going to release the parking brake and we're going to take off. So when we get to about 60, we want to rotate the aircraft. And we want to maintain a climb of about 70 knots, so we may have to go up or down a little bit just to uh, make sure we do that. When we get to a thousand feet, I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to pause the uh, the simulation and then show you a little quick tutorial. Okay, so I've paused the sim. So autopilot in a Cessna 172, uh, the default one, is here. And there's only a couple of things you need to know about it. If you're wanting to plan a course and have it follow that course, there's a little bit more things you have to do. I'm not going to show you that in this one. I'm just going to show you how to keep the plane level, climb and descend. So uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to have the autopilot on. So you'd select AP. The next thing you want to do is you want to set your uh, your vertical speed, which is here. Now, vertical speed, if it's a plus, it's climbing at that altitude per minute. If it's a negative, it's descending at that uh, altitude. So right now it's set to climb uh, 800 feet per minute. So I'm going to leave that the way it is now. And then the next thing is uh, setting your heading button right here. So if you look on the directional compass here, we can see that uh, there's kind of a bigger orange mark. That is what our heading is supposed to be if this is activated. Right now the plane is just simply flying in the direction uh, that I've, I'm, I'm doing because I haven't set the heading. But you would set the heading by simply either holding down uh, and letting it move like this, or if you scroll over here and you have a mouse wheel, uh, you can do that and that moves a little faster. So if I set it to east and then I turn the heading button on, it will fly there. So let's unpause the sim and uh, see that. So unpause and then heading. So now the autopilot is turning to the direction of east and it is climbing at 800 feet per minute. Now, what happens when we finally get to the altitude we want to do? Well, we have to turn vertical speed off. So when we get to 3,500 feet, I'm going to turn it off so that it will hold that altitude. And how you would do that is you would simply select the Alt button, and that will hold the altitude uh, that you want. So we've selected that, and now you can see it's still going. That's okay, because the plane and the, uh, the autopilot has to compensate uh, for the change. So, your vertical speed indicator here will stay at zero, uh, unless, you know, something the wind changes or there's reduced power, for example. But more than anything, it will hold uh, at there. And uh, that's how you know, basically, that you're flying level. Also, your altitude isn't changing. So, right now, the Cessna is flying due east and it is holding an altitude of 3,500 uh, feet. If you wanted to change that, you would simply uh, hit the vertical speed button again, and it will climb to whichever, uh, air, to whichever um, flight level you want, uh, or whichever one air traffic control has cleared you for. If you wanted to descend, you would simply change this so that it was now a negative number, and the plane will know to descend by that speed, or that uh, altitude, 500 feet per minute. And then again, when you reach the desired altitude you want, you would simply hit the hold altitude button again 
like so, and it will level off and it will keep going in that direction. Okay, uh, that's a basic tutorial on autopilot and uh, happy flying!